welcome back people we got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today i'm going to show you the best hot spot in lone star lake for smallmouth buffalo xp grind and cash grind i'm going to show you guys because there's a lot of people out there that are low levels i'm already max level but i'm don't worry i've, I've got some gear that's going to be okay for you guys to be at least level five i'm going to show you my setup so here we are, we are fishing over here, this is my guy, I'm not going to be fishing there, but I'm just going to spawn there really quick, and turn around, and then, most people know this, but if you're a new player, you might not, but it shows a picture of a worm, if you go up to here, you can collect some free worms, you can never have enough of that, so if you're being a low level, new to the game, I recommend you do that all the time, every time you come into this place, it's free to come into here, and obviously to go there to get that is also good. So when, I'm, when you're in here, if you want to keep some of these fish, I recommend <clears throat> for you guys to come over to the shop. And then when you get to the shop, go to licenses and buy the advanced license rather than the basic. If you buy the advanced license, you'll be able to keep all of the fish. Now, it does cost 200 but you're going to definitely earn your money back in, in time anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, go to that, click one day, and then click buy. I've already done that, so just to mention anyway. If we go into the inventory, I'm going to be using a few different rods here. The best bottom rod on the game, plus a float rod, plus this heavy chaser, which used to be the best gate, uh, float rod on the game. Best normal rod on the game, heavy bottom rod. Oh my gosh. Can't even talk. Okay, so moving over to this rod and this rod. The big allied rod, again, is another rod that you can use. You don't have to be too much of a high level for that, but this is the setup here. So that one and in rod slot four so rod slot six and four these two rods and these setups you have to be level five for this so i brought this rod and applied this rod just to show you guys so it's the creek pro 810 i'm going to be using a hash two hook and the leader again this one is you have to be level five for this but you have to buy that leader with um with bait coins you don't have to have that one you could buy this one here that is 2.6 pounds but with bait coins it costs three bait coins and then you can then get this leader here which is a 5.5 pound leader which is a little bit stronger which is pretty good that's what you want level five you have to get you have to be level five to get this leader uh, this line which is test braid here four pounds that's what i'm going to be using level five for that level five for the real level five for the rod and then three bait coins for this mono leader 5.5 which you will have some bait coins to start off in the game that's probably a good thing to have is to to go straight in with those because those are stronger leaders less chance of it breaking this is the real win cast 1500 win cast <clears throat> The max drag on that is 4.9 pounds, and then as I said, this here is our rod that we're going to be using. So, got that rod, and again in rod slot 4, exactly the same, hash 2 hook, bread and honey, and then the weight as well, I forgot to mention that, 1 slash, 2 ounce weight, that's what I'm using. So this is the setup that we're going to be using, we're going to spawn over here. So we're going to move to there. I'm going to just show you on the map one more time so it's clear to understand. This is where we are fishing, where my guys lit up in orange. We're going to click go fish. Then we're going to turn to the right and we're going to walk along here. I've already set some markers for this, but I'm just going to show you guys here. So you can't walk any further than that bit of grass there. That's as far as you can walk. You can go up this way, but then you can't get across. So yeah, this is where you want to be fishing we're going to get set up, we're going to put some rods out, and I'm going to be using some of the other rods as well, just so that way we catch at a little bit of a faster pace, but for the most of it, I am going to be showing you the Creek Rod, the Creek Pro, because that's pretty pretty much what you would have at this stage. With the, with the drag, I'm only going to keep it halfway at the moment, the real tension, I'm going to keep that the way it is, but um, we're going to see, so over here, there's, is it? Oh, well, hold on. I might only have the markers. Oh, okay. I messed up. I got the markers on console, not on here, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to cast out to there. We're going to get that one set out. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Um, hopefully, you saw where it did splash, but tip of my rod around about there is where we want it to be. That's kind of far, so I don't want it to be that far. I'm going to reel into a re anything between 110 to 130 foot seems to be the sweet spot. I will make a couple of edits if we do have to wait a little bit. 
I will make a couple of edits just to speed up the process but basically tip of my rod is there on that tree there so follow that tree down and then that's where you want to be casting kind of around about there let's get this one set out as well <clears throat> now the reason why I'm showing this video I am already max level I don't really need to fish in this place but um, I am just to show you how to catch smallmouth buffalo. Anytime there is updates on Fishing Planet, I download and install as quick as I possibly can. Set up a live stream and showing you new lakes, rods, reels, tackle boat, all that new good stuff. Showing you how and where to catch certain new fish as well. So if you are interested in Fishing Planet, it's a good reason to subscribe. When you hit the bell, make sure it says all so you don't miss out on future updates on Fishing Planet. Okay, that's not the fish that I was looking for. That's a green sunfish. Okay, we're going to cast out again. Let's get that one set. I feel like um, probably about 110 foot to 130 foot seems to be the sweet spot. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going to put some of the other rods out as well. But these two main rods here, these Creek Pros, they're probably the main two that you want to concentrate on more. Because they're the rods that you're going to be having or going to be using at this stage if you're a low level Another thing to mention is barbless hooks. Always use barb. Oh, wow, well, I forgot to change the bait and stuff on that one. Always use barbless hooks. Barbless hooks will allow you to get 10% extra XP. So, barbless hooks is definitely a good way to go. Definitely want to use barbless hooks. As you can see there, the line tension has gone up a little bit more. We don't want to go up too much because we don't want to break our line. I'm only using very light line at the minute. I don't think this is a buffalo, to be honest. Let's have a look. Okay, another green sunfish. But at this point, even me catching those, obviously I, I do want to get the smallmouth buffalo, but even having a few of those green sunfish every now and again, it's not bad because you're still earning money. And at this point, you being such a low level, any fish, the way I looked at it when I used to play this, and I was in the very beginning stages, I've started this game four times over from the beginning. I've been playing nearly five years. And within that time of me playing I kind of when I start off I don't really mind too too much what fish I'm catching as long as I'm catching fish and then I'm happy because fish equals money fish equals XP and to be honest when you very first start off playing this game I'm gonna be honest it's not the most fun <laughs> just because um, you're catching very small fish it is a little bit of a grind but you're catching very small fish at the start it takes a long time to get going and um, yeah it's not it's not very it's not too fun because you're not catching those big fish and it is a slow pace but if you stick with it and you carry on fishing eventually you can move up to better lakes and get better fishing gear better rods better tackle and all that good stuff and then the game does become very good like the biggest fish I've caught I think is 219 pounds and a half which was an arapaima now, I'm not too fussed on biggest fish, to be honest. The biggest fish is around 220 pounds. I'm like half half a pound away from that. So I'm not too fussed on trying to catch the biggest fish, to be honest. I just like to catch at a fast pace. That's what I always go for. If you catch at a fast pace, then to me, that's more enjoyable. I'd rather catch loads of small fish rather than keep catching a big fish. To catch a big fish takes a long time to reel in, so yeah that's why i don't mind catching smaller fish anyway for the hook size you definitely want to use bread and honey that works quite well you can also use semolina balls but bread and honey seems to be best but with the hook you either want to go with a hash two or a hash one that's why i put on some hash one hooks and obviously on the other rods on them two there that one and the, that one them two we got hash hash two on there there we go so we could also set a marker by pulling out our mini map which is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be pulling out the mini map and i'm going to show you how to set a marker for these fish but i'm not going to do that until i catch a smallmouth buffalo once i catch the smallmouth buffalo and then i will set a marker to show you guys exactly where that fish is and how to save it so i'm going to bring you guys back when we get a fish on buy it from the shop do not buy it from going in here if you if you go to the menu you can go to the shop here it doesn't show everything in the shop here 
there's a lot more than that but to do that you obviously go go press the map go to leave and then go back to the main menu and then buy stuff there just to mention okay so I'm now gonna set a marker real quick for that fish that we just have so let's bring out our mini map and then we hit X marking mode and then that sets a marker there for our smallmouth buffalo that we just caught just there oh if I can hook onto it there we go if I click on it smallmouth buffalo all right so I bring you guys back when I get another fish on but just quickly gonna cast to there just to show you the distance again let's have a look see how far that was so that's about right 131 foot so I bring you guys back when I get another one out whereas if I couldn't do that before because my line did break off I got some six pound line which I brought with bait coins don't worry, I will show you the line, and I will show you in the shop where to buy it, but £6 line seems to be the best line for this. Obviously, the other line on there, we did have £4 on that Creek Pro, the same as this. So, this is a level 5 rod setup, but the line is at level 6, this line. So, once you're high enough level to get to level 6, definitely recommend getting this line. So, there we have another smallmouth buffalo. I'm not going to bother to set a marker because we've already got the marker set out there, but I'm going to show you the line real quick. So that's the line there I brought with bait coins. Five bait coins, six pound line. You've got to be level six for that. That's definitely the best That's the best line to use. And then on the other level five set up there, that line there is four pound line. So um, yeah, when you're high enough level, definitely when you hit level six, make sure you buy that. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back for the next one. Okay, we've got some... Got some more interest again. So this is that rod with the, oh wow, so much slack, so much slack. Wow, I almost thought I was going to lose that. So this is the rod with the six pound line again. We've had some interest on this. And the re another reason why I did do it, as I mentioned, the line did snap. I don't know if I did say that, <laughs> but the line did snap with the four pounds. So that's what made me put on six pound line. And this definitely does work a lot better. So there's another one. Okay, white crappy. Well, that's pretty good, though, because even though it wasn't the fish that we wanted, still pretty good cash and some XP. And again, these fish, we do catch quite a few of these, as well as the smallmouth buffalo. So it's a good way to get more cash. Okay, I'll bring you guys back when we get another smallmouth buffalo. See, it's not too bad, but if I catch a big one on here, I can't take the drag up anymore on the reel, as you see down there on the bottom, on the bottom right. If I do, the line will break. So I prefer to catch it on the other one, but anyway... It's still good that we catch him. Okay, we got some interest. This is on the big ally rod. Again, you're probably not going to be a high enough level to get this rod straight away, but I'm just I'm just using other rods just so that way we can catch these fish faster and show you loads of them. So there's another smallmouth buffalo. There we go. All the rods are going crazy. I bring you guys back when we get another wheel snap. So that's why I got the six pound line for the other rod. Because then I can put it on max drag and I can reel the fish in a lot easier. As you can see here, it's taken me definitely a short minute to try and reel this one in. Because I've only got the four pound line on there. I'm even trying to shake it to the one side as well. I'm really working this fish. It's definitely not easy when you're only using four pound line but yeah as soon as you hit level six you can get that six pound line to be so much better there we go smallmouth buffalo that did take a short minute that one <laughs> all right anyway yeah that's the four pound line set up i'll quickly show you that real quick let me quickly show you that i will also show you how to set up a rod as well but there you go there's the four pound line that's the rod we just caught it on so i bring you guys back for one more this is with the um, with the six pound line as you can see I can max it out it feels so much better fishing with this one my line went a little bit over that way I had to hit record <laughs> it went for a little swim so I'm going to show you the mono leader I'm going to show you this line as well I'm also going to show you how to set up a fishing rod as well so that was actually trophy white crappy again it wasn't actually a small mouth buffalo so we're going to need to cast back out there again there we go I'm going to zoom in as well, just so that way you can see a little bit clearer. So there it is. There's my marker at the tip of the rod. I think anywhere between, as long as you can cast a minimum, at a very minimum, as long as you can cast around about 115 foot, you will catch these, these smallmouth buffalo. But I feel like the better spot is probably 
around about 120 to 130 foot there, just where I got the markers set out. You can also change the time of the day as well, just to mention. I'm trying to cover as much as I can, not only just how to catch these fish, but obviously if you're a beginner, you can hit X or square. If you're on PS4, you can hit square, or PS5, you can hit square. If you're on PC, oh, hold up. If you're on Xbox, you can hit X, and that will allow you to change the time of the day. But you can only do that when you don't have any rods set out. If you've got any rods on your rod stand, and you try and hit X or square, you will not be able to change the time. Obviously, if you're on PC, you can hit T, and that will also get you to change the time of the day. But you can't do it if you have any rods set out. As you can see, this has got the six-pound line on. It's so much better to reel in a fish like this. It feels actually pretty good to be able to max it out and not put any damage on your gear. So as you can see, the line's at 98%, the rod's 93 and the reel is at 90 <clears throat> If that gets to the point where it actually breaks completely, you are not able to repair your gear. So don't let it go anything lower than around about 15% just to be on the safe side so you're able to repair your stuff. So there it was, another smallmouth buffalo. I'm now gonna show you the, the leader and also the line. So if we come here into the shop, we're not able to see the line and we're not able to see the leader that I would normally buy. Um, and that is because it, it doesn't show you everything here. So I'm gonna show you where to get that and also how to set up a rod. So we're gonna go back to the main menu by hitting B or circle in if you're on ps4 or if you're on a mouse or on keyboard and then obviously you would just use the mouse you would click leave up there and we leave so i'm going to show you how to set up a rod but again just before i do i'm going to show you the line <clears throat> i'm going to show you the line that i brought and i'm going to show you the leader that i brought i bought them with bait coins you could always wait if you didn't want to spend the bait coins you could always wait until you're a high enough level and then get it so if you have anything to repair it will come up here saying to repair x obviously if you're on xbox and it would be square if you're on ps4 or obviously if you're on pc you can just use the mouse okay there we go <clears throat> So if we come up here to the shop, it will now give us a lot more options. As you can see there, look at that. There's so many more options that we can choose from now. So if you're ever going to buy anything, it's always cheaper to buying it from here, from the main menu. It's always a lot cheaper to do that here rather than doing it in game and it being on a map. If you're on a map, it won't show everything and it costs a lot more as well. So do bear that in mind. So the leaders here, you can buy some of these, but if you come along to the, press the arrow, this was the leader that I brought for two fruit, two, oh my gosh, two bait coins, gold coins, which is a 5.5 pound leader. And then I brought this one here, which again, oh actually, okay, it's level five. If we had to be level six. Okay, so level five, you can buy this, which is six pound um, flora line. That's what I brought for five bait coins if not you can wait until you level up and then when you level up obviously there is other lines available as you can see here as you progress through and then you keep leveling up the line and the leaders do get a lot stronger over time um, okay let's go forward a bit more a couple more just to give you an example so there you go the five pound five pound five point five pound leader that i brought with bait coins you can actually buy with cash not in cash which is really cheap but you gotta wait till you get to level 12 but it's still an option and then obviously six pound line there six pound eight pound line you could always use that as well so i'm going to show you how to set up a rod so home storage and backpack backpack is what you take with you home storage is if you've got too much stuff that's where it goes to so i'm going to take that off and drop it into my home storage just like that ignore that so for us to set up a rod we can either click and drag over like that and that is what's going to set it up if you're using a mouse and keyboard that is what you can do if you don't have a mouse and keyboard and then another way is to do it by the controller now here as you can see there's my reel as well it's all about just dropping and dragging into the position of where you need to set your stuff up but sometimes um, obviously if you're using a controller it is a bit different to drop and drag so I'm going to show you that as well so as you can see there my rod is not lit up so because my rod is not there and I have a rod go to the home storage and that's where it will be as you can see I've got many many rods because 
<laughs> I play this game a lot so if we scroll down using the left analog stick you can do that on the Xbox controller or the PS4 or PS5 controller and then we hit A or we can hit X. X you would you'd press X to equip it if you was on PS4 or PS5 and you would hit A to equip it if you was on Xbox controller and then obviously drop and drag always on the mouse and keyboard so coming along to the home storage there's more line here or sometimes your line can save here in my case it has in the backpack and then we just press A or again X if you're on um, must equip a reel okay that would help here so with the reel sometimes that can go to the home storage sometimes the backpack in my case it went to the backpack you can hit X on PS4 or PS5 and then obviously A on your Xbox controller. There you go. There's the real equipped. Go to line and then we do the same thing. We can just hit the same button over again. And we always want to put the maximum amount of line. You can adjust the line, but we always want loads of lines because the fish does pull out line. And then after we've done that, we then come down to here. We can equip our hooks. All of these hooks you can buy in the shop. And then if we come down, we can scroll through. Oh, actually, if we go back to line, sorry. We can scroll through and we can get our leader. So there's the leader that I brought with the bait coins. We can equip the leader, come back down here. And this will then take us to our bells. We can buy those. All of the stuff that you see here, we can buy from the shop. We can equip a bell so the bell makes a noise when the rod has got a fish on, which obviously you can buy rod stands with bite alarms but if you ain't high enough level it's good to have a bell we can put on our our weight there so just to mention if we put on a heavier weight it would say this oh hold on tackle is too heavy can break the line whilst casting so you don't want it too heavy because this is a very light rod if you put anything too heavy it will end up snapping your rod or your line so don't do that Make sure you use the one slash two ounce on this Creek Pro rod. Works absolutely perfect. And then now our bait. So we click to bait. We scroll down or we press down on the left analog stick. We choose what bait we want to put on. And whatever bait we put on X or X on the PS4 controller or PS5 controller. You, pre you press X to equip or you press A on the keyboard on the Xbox controller. Or you can drop and drag like that on the mouse and keyboard so i'm just trying to cover as much as i possibly can there we go now that rod is set up it's now lit up as in green if it's not lit up as green and it's lit up as red it means you haven't equipped something so that's the way to judge that there's the global map and then obviously to go into a place we always go in there but before we do we always buy a license buy advanced license always because of them that way you'll be able to keep every fish if you don't do that and then it's going to be very expensive because you could end up getting a fine if you try and keep the fish, which you don't want to do. So, hope this video did help you out. We've done all missions all across Fishing Planet as well. Missions help give us bait coins and help give you cash and also give you free items. Always use barbless hooks. They always give you 10% extra XP. You can always go to premium by premium. I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any sort of way, but I always recommend premium. It gives you 10% extra cash and XP. And then you can also go to deals and you can buy certain packs as well. All different types of packs to get into different lakes. The best one that I recommend, again not sponsored by Fishing Planet, but the best one is the Bass Boat Explorer. You get to fish 30 days of premium, which is awesome. And that's 30 days real time, not in game time, 30 days real time. And we get a rod, a reel, we get the best boat on the game. And we get all of this tackle and stuff which will allow us to go and fish straight into Blue Crab Island where you can catch tarpon up to 155 pounds. There's the boat. You also get a license. You get plenty of stuff with it. Definitely good. The best DLC as of today is the best DLC on the game. All different types of poppers as well. Buzz baits. We get a good size fish net as well. 55 pound fish net which is awesome. Because when you're starting off you get a very low net. So, yeah, I hope this video did help you out. Any comments, you can leave it in the comment section below, and I'll try and get back to you guys as fast as I possibly can. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new updates for Fishing Planet. Anytime them updates are there, I'm live streaming face cam and mic and buying the new DLC to get in the lake, showing you new hotspots and all that good stuff. If you want to do missions, I recommend it. Check out, check out across my channel. We've got every single mission. Missions give you more XP and cash, so, yeah, definitely 
definitely recommend that. Hope you guys do enjoy this game. It's free to an extent of where you can play this game completely for free and never spend any money on it. It's just quite quite a grind. If you spend money on it, it does speed up the process. Obviously, premium is a good way to do that. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Don't forget to drop a like. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.